today we are doing two experiments from National Geographic Mega Science Series Stunning Science Chemistry Set Blue Ball Balloon with Pop Crystals. Oh, we're doing two experiments with Pop Crystals in this um, one video. Yeah. So, wait, first of all, though, it says yeah, we that we needed, we needed 500 milliliters of soda pop. And it said to do five medium scoops, which would have been the size of the pop crystals and stick them in a, fill up the balloon with it, which we already, we actually just dumped one of these packages in there, in the balloon already, and then fasten the balloon around the top. And we don't have soda, so we did the carbonated mineral water. And then we're gonna dump it in. Can you Lift hold? up, why can't you? Lift the balloon up, wait, why is it offset? <gasps> All right, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, 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 comes. Oh dear. I'm pulling up a... Oh dear, over the sink just in case. <laughs> here it popping. What wow. do I do, what do I do? It's fine. It's not, it's not as bad as we thought. I think. And I'm gonna taste this one to see how it tastes. After, <laughs> on video, because only because we know that you can drink mineral water and you can eat pop crystals. Oh, I think the bottle's expanding. I don't know. Nah. Look at it. I have the power. I'll Look pop at that it. reaction. It's definitely. Oh, you got a leak in your balloon. I think your, I saw your balloon get smaller when you did that. We might have a hole in the balloon. That might be why it's not getting as big as it could. It is not going to, I'm unless you let I go of the balloon. I'm wondering. Can I let go now? No. Well, I don't know. <sighs> because it might help hold the, you want to let go? No, not right now. <laughs> well, anyway, we blew up a balloon with pop crystals. I guess it's not going to get any bigger than that. I'm going to let it go. <laughs> why? <gasps> Why? <No. laughs> I'm gonna hold it again. So we have the pop crystals. It's almost like what? Mentos and soda? Coke and Mentos. Yeah, Coke and Coke Mentos. And Mentos, but not quite that dramatic. A little more safer <gasps> reaction. Well, Coke and Mentos is actually a safe reaction. I think there's a leak in here, and I think that's why it's not. Can I feel the leak? Oh, I think I feel it. I don't know. Oops. I'm holding it really tight, but I don't think that's... I don't know if it's around the base or if it's in the balloon itself. Uh, probably around in the balloon somewhere. I don't know if I can feel it, but... You can definitely oh. hear it. Oh, yeah, it's loud. How about this taste? It's turning more green. Here, let's hold it up to the green. mic. Let me hold it up to my mic. <laughs> oh, the balloon. So that was a quick, short, and easy. Oh, and here, this is why. It says, oh, you, you can also experiment. It says, do different kinds of soda release different amounts of gases? Try it and see. And actually, probably different brands. Depends on how much carbonation they put. So why, Whoa, did, why did it happen? The bubbles in carbonated drinks come from pressurized carbon dioxide that is trapped in the liquid. Pop crystals also have carbon dioxide trapped inside them. And when the sugar coating dissolves in the liquid, it releases some carbon dioxide gas, but the tiny particles of pop crystals also stimulate the gas in the soda to break free of the liquid. The combined release of gas blows up the balloon. That is so cool. Now should I undo it? You can if you want. Just remember there's probably some pop crystals stuck in there, so don't. <laughs> well, I'm just saying I don't want them splattered everywhere. Well, this is, this thing is carbonated, and it, will this spew everywhere? No. The reaction is pretty much done. Why can't you just pull? <laughs> I guess that didn't work very well. What? How about we do that out of that thing? Well, you've got to get this little lip. 
I made sure it was on there good, apparently. <laughs> ah! Huh. <laughs> well, I can still wear That scared me. Why did, you, why did that scare me? I don't know, now I can't do it. Alright there. I'm gonna hold the bottle for you. And if it spies at me, I have to. I'm scared. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> you should have seen that. Boom, 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 boom. Pop. Oh. What? <laughs> His eyes got big. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey. Okay, so we got the balloon off. And here's the fish. Tied it. Oh, I shouldn't have shook it. Why? Well, if you're gonna do that. Boom! <laughs> Why? <laughs> hey. Boom! <laughs> you wanna try it? <laughs> That's a problem, does it? And I didn't really like carbonate. taste. I gotta taste it too. Ooh, I wonder if we pour it in a cup if it's green. Oh. We're, wait, wait, we're just gonna pour a little in here, but we're not, oops. We're not gonna drink out of that because that had chemicals in it. Oh, it is a little green. Boom! Not much. It tastes like, well, it tastes like some carbonated green apple stuff. Because those were because those were some green apple pop crystals. It kind of tastes. It actually tastes better than the than the pop crystals did by themselves to me. I don't like it. Mm. I might drink it. Mm. It's not so bad. All right, we have another experiment to do with the pop crystals. <coughs> we are going to. Oops, where is it? Mm, that tasted kind of nasty. <laughs> He has to rinse his mouth out now. We're going to yeah, do some drink that. Oh, pop God. crystal fireworks. What? I thought you were getting our fireworks solution. No. Uh, pop crystal okay. fireworks. We're going to do the tropical punch crystals. It said to get some water and heat it up in the microwave, which we did. And now we got to pull it out of the microwave. Um, it's probably cool. Which it said 100 milliliters. but. Oh, that's okay. I didn't use quite a hundred milliliters, I don't think. Now I just poured in. We did, uh... Oh, and this is the balloon that we tied when we took it off that. Actually, and I have around 150 milliliters in there. All right, mm -hmm. so open that up, tear that open, and then dump it in there. This is we're going to make our own little pop crystal fireworks. All right, with our own pop crystals. I'm going to watch. <gasps> Whoa. Right there. Cool. I don't know if I'd call that fireworks, but. Under water. It's rather. Um, blue? Ah, blue. Yeah. It's turning the whole thing blue. You can definitely tell. <laughs> it's turning the whole thing blue. Blue fireworks. Yay, and it's turning the whole water blue. <laughs> it's loud. Oh, yes. Here, let's, let's wait, wait, wait. Yeah, do it do to your mic. Let them hear it. This is hot, too. Oh, is it warm? Yeah. This stuff has to be hot. Just to see if we can see them, like, oh, yeah, we can see all the steaming. bubbly. Look at, we can see all the bubblies. Yeah, it's steaming, huh, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. I knew it. All right, so what's yeah. popping? Pop crystals contain pressurized carbon dioxide held inside a sh hard sugar coating. The hot water dissolves the sugar very quickly, releasing the carbon dioxide almost instantly. And the quick release causes the crystal pieces to jump as they pop. And it's cold water. Yes, That's they're cold. jumping. They're jumping now. You can see them. 
Okay, jump as they pop. So, how do fireworks get their colors? Fireworks are just... Yes, all you have to do is add cold water to it, then the reaction... Fireworks are just great big chemical reactions. The color of the sparks depends on the chemicals involved. Reds come from lithium salts, oranges from calcium salts, and yellows from sodium compounds. Some colors come from burning metals like magnesium or aluminum. Bright white sparks is from the aluminum. Iron causes gold sparks or copper are the blues and greens. Yes, but it says, yeah, the oranges come from calcium salts, yellows from sodium compounds. It's awesome. Hey, the gas in this balloon is really heavy. No, it's got liquid or, in there. Or it's thick balloon plus liquid. It has the liquid in there still. I don't pay much liquid at all. There's barely any liquid, but it is still still liquid. It says another Ooh. experiment, or some other experiments you could do is, it says they only pop when the sugar coating dissolves. It says, see what happens when you try to dissolve them in different liquids, like in um, vegetable, oil, dish soap, pancake syrup, what? whatever you want. <laughs> they said you could try it different ways. What in the world is that? Pancake syrup. I think the pops would be more muffled in the thicker fluids. <laughs> I don't even think I would go down in the fluid. That would be an interesting thing. Should yeah. have probably tried that. But But we need our pancake mix to make pancakes. Alright, so we are done with our little experiment. Bye! Please like and subscribe. If you haven't, please subscribe. That will help my channel a lot. Bye!